In this video, we're going to set up the quote unquote algorithm for how we're going to answer the questions that people are asking. So again, the way that this app is going to be set up is a person is going to be asking the app for a decision. So it'll be framed in a should I dot 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 and they'll fill in the blank. So for instance, should I go for a run? And then the app will respond to the user with some sort of answer. So it'll be maybe yes, no, definitely, maybe. It'll be some sort of answer like that. So this video, we're going to set up how the app is coming up with those actual answers. Let's get started. All right, so when someone enters a question here and they click ask, we want to get a random value for the answer there. So there are a few potential ways we can do this, but what we're going to do is have a list of potential answers and then randomly select one of those answers. As the app develops, we might make this a bit more sophisticated and actually add a little bit of predictive answering there. But for the point of this app in this video, I'm just gonna show you how you can have a button click generate a random value. This is actually relatively straightforward, but we have our button down here and the on press right now, it just says clicked. So on this on press, we're actually going to make a call to get answer. And this is a function that we have not yet set up. So right below the build here, we can go ahead and set this up. And this is actually just gonna return a string value and we want to define a list here. So these are gonna be the answer options. And it's going to just be a list of potential options. So we're going to go with these four options here, which are yes, no, definitely, and not right now. You can add more options if you like, or just leave it simple like this one. And now we just wanna return a random value in this list here. So we can do that with taking the answer options here and getting a index that is between zero and three because there currently are four values in here. So we just want a random number between that. So we're gonna call random. And then call next int on this. And we need to get, essentially for this case, we would pass in four because it's the length of the array here, but we don't wanna just limit it to these four values. If we wanted to add another one later, we want this to work without having to update the length down here. So we can simply use the length of the list here. Now random is going to need to be import using Dart math. After this, now we should be getting a random value of this array. So let's go ahead and print that just so we could see it in the console. And then if that's looking good, we can go ahead and start displaying it. So we did forget a semicolon here, but if we reload this and we hit ask, you'll see we get yes, no, not right now, no, definitely, yes. And you can see these are random. There is no, they're not in order at all. So this is what we want. And this is essentially the backbone of the app's quote unquote algorithm. So. That is the simple algorithm we're gonna to use to determine what the answer is. Now we can add in the answer below this when we click the ask button, and then later we'll add the question as well. So in this build question form here, below the button, we can call a new widget, which we'll create here, and it will be the question and the answer. And we can define this widget right down here. So we want this to display the question and the answer, but since we don't really have the question set up now, we can just have it display the answer for now. So this should return a column with two text values. And the first one is going to be the question, which is going to be in the form of should I, and then it will have the question that was entered because we aren't going to assume that they're going to type should I, since should I is already there. And then below this, we will have another text value and this will be the answer. 
Now for the answer here, we're going to actually define a new variable and we're going to call that the answer. So this answer is going to need to be defined up here and it will be a string value. So we can just define that as an empty string. Now, when we click the button, we can just set the state of this answer to be the value that we were printing out. So instead of printing out the answer here, we can instead use set state and set the answer variable to the value returned from get answer. Now when we have the text of the answer down here, it should be showing that answer value every time it changes. So if we save it, you can see it does say should I. Since I just reloaded it, there is no answer variable saved yet as answer. It's just an empty string right now. But as soon as I hit the ask button, it now becomes one of those random options in the answer. If you click this again, you can see it will keep changing. And since it is random, sometimes it looks like you click it and nothing happens, but that's just because that value is being repeated. If you aren't aware, this video is just one of a series of videos that are going to show you how to build an entire app. And the app that it's going to be building is all focused around monetization. So the parts that you're going to be able to see on YouTube for free are going to be that base app. And this is part of that. But if you want to see all the ways you can monetize a Flutter app, which include ads, in-app purchases and subscriptions, then you can check out the course. And right now at the launch of this video, you can get the course on presale with a 30% discount. If you're interested in that, you can head on over to onemanstartup.com backslash monetize. If you miss the presale, no worries, you can still get a discount and it will be a 15% discount. You just use the code YouTube subscriber when you are checking out. All that will be linked down below. Ciao for now.